Hey guys, today's video is going to be a short tutorial on how to build my assembly hacks for Ocarina of Time using Luajit and LIPS by Natwa. LIPS stands for Lua MIPS, which is just a compiler for the assembly language that the N64 speaks. First thing you need to do though is install Luajit, which you can, I'll provide links for all of the sources in the description of this video. But on luajit.org, you should be able to find a decent installer for whatever operating system you're using. I already have it installed, but the most recent version was compiled May 1st of 2017. But it's just like any other installer. Uh, you download a zip file, and you can drag it wherever you want to. Next you need to download lips which is on github uh, forward slash not what slash lips. Um, you'll want to download all of this however I will provide a preset build with the directories in order that I already have it set up. But you can see all of the syntax notes and regular assembly. Um, anyway, let's get started. I have lib set up in a Dropbox folder here. Z64. I'm going to have my lips folder in there along with uh, <clears throat> some folders by CloudMax, which makes compiling for Ocarina of Time much more simple. You have a build.lua file, build.lua, build.bin, and the only two files you'll change would be build.asm, which includes the assembly file that you want to compile, and a build.batch file, which I wrote myself. What this does is it starts Luajit, providing build.lua and your build.asm file, <coughs> which will output into a patch.txt, and it will also inject it into a ROM. Like I said, I will provide all of these in a link in the description of the video. Writing a batch file is simple. All I need to do is write start and then a... <clears throat> all you need to do is write start and then provide a path to your program. In this case, it's going to be in the, for me in the directory C Luajit Luajit.exe that's where I installed Luajit build.bin or build.lua is the Lua script to build everything this is in the same directory as the batch file have build and build ram for different purposes <clears throat> depending on the assembly hack I'm trying to build uh, if you use ram addresses in your assembly hack uh, you'll want to use build ram so it'll patch it to the ROM otherwise build dot ASM should work just fine regularly so as a, an example I'm going to show you how to build my optimized link object files. Okay, so this is uh, the main source, and these are the regular sources. As you can see, I'm using ROM addresses, so I don't need to use um, 
build RAM. So I'll edit my build.asm to change the directory to optimized link objects slash main.asm. I'll save that. Then I'll edit build.batch to use build.asm. And I'll change the patch name to optimized link. I will also edit build.lua. Actually, no. I have two ROMs here in my Dropbox folder. One is input clean, one is input optimized. This one already has the optimized patch applied. So if I take input clean, make a copy, and rename it to simply input.z64, build.lua will know to patch this ROM with the patch so to make for easy testing. So I will save this build.batch file and to build the hack all you have to do is run build.bat build.bat it'll take a few seconds And then in your folder, you'll have the patch file, which is 806 kilobytes. I don't need to open it on video. Uh, that's uploaded to GitHub. And I use it as a base for almost all of my link specific assembly hacks. And then I have a ROM, which I can, which has the patch already applied. And I can open that ROM for easy testing. Obviously, you won't see any in game differences. However, I'm just proving that it works game doesn't crash, there are no low poly models. The description of this hack is on my GitHub, and I'll provide a link to it in the description. Anyway, that's how to run the setup of um, compiling any of my assembly hacks. In this manner, if you want to edit the source, for example, like Object Link Boy, Boy ASM, like if you wanted to change the model, all you would have to do is change this pointer here, run build.bat, and then you could test that patch and your changes will be automatically applied so you don't have to finagle with the ROM in a hex editor or anything. I think it's pretty simple. And the workflow is pretty nice. In a future video, I'll probably show off a short tutorial on writing a small assembly hack uh, but that will require a little bit more preparation just for users who haven't worked with MIPS before or any programming languages. Anyway, I hope that made a little bit of sense. Um, comment if you have any questions and uh, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Thanks!